Lenneke's short life comes to an end in 1290. That's her on the left with the Blessed Virgin Mary. A young man is kneeling at her feet. Lenneke Mara lives as a hermit near a chapel of Our Lady. A young nobleman sees her and falls in love with her, but she rejects him. Out of revenge, he steals a silver cup and hides it in her hermitage. Lenneke is accused of the theft, convicted and buried alive in unconsecrated ground. But that's not the end of it. The devil takes possession of the young nobleman. To put it in modern layman's terms, the young man's guilty conscience drives him insane. Nothing can cure him. He is only released from his torment seven years later when he's brought to the grave of his victim. On the pennant, we can see the devils leaving through his mouth.